What's up everyone, how's it going? Simon here from CD Revival. Today, new update video, bunch of CDs bought in the month of November. Um, some old, some new, um, all of them pretty interesting. Some of them I don't even know who they are. Uh, so we'll, we'll get to it, there's a lot to go through today. Um, yeah, a bumper batch of stuff. So, uh, first of all, we will start with uh, the new, not so new now, but it's been out for a couple of months, uh, Avenged Sevenfold album, Life is But a Dream. Listen to, I've listened to this loads already. Uh, finally got the CD version of it. Uh, really good album of theirs. Um, do like their stuff. I wouldn't say I was their biggest fan, but I yeah, go through phases of liking them and not. Uh, this one for me is uh, yeah, one of my favourite albums of theirs. I think it's really, really good. Um, I will go into it in more detail when I get to my end of 2023 year review. I'm not going to do last year. I did a top 10 albums of the year. I don't think I've really got a top 10 albums of the year this year, but I will do a review of the albums that came out this year. This one I will feature and I will give it a bit more of a, a, a detailed look if you like. Um, but yeah, excellent album. If you like them, um, then definitely check it out. Really, really impressed with this album. Uh, next one I've got is Pussifer. This is their Conditions of My Parole. I think it's the second album they did. Uh, obviously Maynard Keenan from Tool. Uh, more of an electronic kind of feel for this. Uh, not as much as their last album, Existential Reckoning, which is probably their best album. But this one I do really enjoy. Uh, it's a really good album, this one. This one came out in... Uh, 2000 when well it says 2021 but it came out before that uh, regardless a good album say their second album so uh well worth checking out really good uh i've been getting a few other bits uh stone sour house of golden bones volume one part one should i say yeah i've been getting into stone sour a bit recently picked this one up for a decent price Bit of a weird package on it it's got kind of all manner of fold outs uh there is a part two which i don't have yet but i will probably pick that one up at a, uh, a later date but yeah this one once again really enjoyed it uh thus far corey taylor good vocalist always writes a catchy tune and uh this one let's see if it's got the actual date on it it's hard to find dates these days on anything uh, still no. 2012, good album, House of Golden Bones Part 1 from Stone Sour. Definitely check it out if you're a fan of theirs and you've not heard it. Uh, Ginger Wildheart solo album, I think this might be his first solo album. Uh, Valor, Valor Del Corazon, this is a two disc set. Um, Fairly tricky to get, as a lot of his solo albums are quite tricky to get. Um, yeah, good good stuff. Not really fully checked this one out yet, because I've only had it uh, a week or so. Um, so yeah, this will be going in my car tomorrow, now that I've done this video. Um, 2005 this one came out, but obviously a big fan of the Wild Hearts, as is documented on my other videos. This is a great, yeah, this would be a good, good album of his, solo album. Uh, white Light, White Heat from the Velvet Underground. Not a big fan of theirs, but I think this one was a 50 pence charity shop kind of situation. Might have even been a three for a pound because I can see another one which I picked up at the same time. But um, yeah, in always interesting. It's got Sister Ray on it, lengthy 17 minute track on it. Uh, there's a record shop in London named after that particular track, um, but that's that one. Uh, this one again, say I got this at the same time as the Velvet Underground one in a charity shop. This is a Mojo, which is a, a magazine, music magazine. Uh, Madcap Laughs again, which was Madcap Laughs was a Sid Barrett solo album. Obviously the original vocalist slash guitarist of Pink Floyd. Uh, and this is just various bands doing covers of songs from there so it's got rem on there um and mark almond probably the most well-known artists on there uh 
Jay Maskis, I think, is in Dinosaur Junior. But yeah, not checked that one out yet. Should but should be interesting. Uh, a couple of Rolling Stones classics. Some girls. I have this on vinyl still, actually. Um, and this is obviously the CD version. Uh, a good album of theirs from the 70s. I think they'd sort of started to, they weren't as good. This one came out in 1978, I think. Uh, famous track, Miss You, When the Whip Comes Down is a good one. The title track's probably the best track on here, uh, Beast of Burden, etc. But yeah, a decent album. One of their better ones from, their, from the 70s after Exile on Main Street, which was pretty much their, you know, finest hour and also their last really good hour not heard their most recent album but obviously they're back in vogue at the moment with the release of that one hackney diamonds i've heard a couple of tracks off it i was not super super impressed everyone seems to think that it's amazing but uh also got it's only rock and roll title track very good and it's also got ain't too proud to beg um but yeah, not a bad one either. I think this might have been the last one with uh, Mick Taylor. Um, but yeah, fairly decent album. Pick those both up for about three pounds each in a local record shop. This one was 50 pence. I've already got everything on there. Status quo, 12 gold bars. But um, it was a bit of one of those slim pickings days. So, you know, grabbed it anyway. Um, but yeah, their first sort of compilation, if you like, first sort of greatest hit. So it's got Rockin' All Over the World, Down Down, Caroline, Paper Plane, Roll Over, Lay Down, Rain, etc. Whatever you want. Some, you know, all classics on there. Do enjoy a bit of Quo. I've got a few of their other albums. I'll be showing that in an upcoming video with my, when I finish off my S's. Uh, Wild Hearts, Hoots Par. This is the last studio album of theirs that I didn't have. Um, and it's very tricky to get hold of, so I was very happy to get that. I think I paid about eight pounds in the end for it, which I felt was reasonable value, because I say it is very, very difficult to get hold of nowadays. Um, but yeah, really good album. It's the, the one that came after their self-titled one uh, on Cargo Records, this one. So yeah, it's a, like I say, it's a tricky, tricky one to get. But yeah, very good album, as all of their albums are. Uh, this was another make weight, uh, Breaking the Girl, Red Hot Chili Peppers CD single. Don't really buy CD singles very often unless they've got particularly good B-sides, but I think it was a three for a pound type situation. So this one was the, the third. I can't remember what the other two were. Um, but yeah, got a couple of live tracks on it. Unreleased B-side, Feelers Cock. And obviously Breaking the Girl, the single from Blood Sugar Sex Magic, which is an excellent album. But I say I don't usually buy CD singles. <clears throat> uh, the classic Simon and Garfunkel Bridge Over Troubled Water. A great album. If you're feeling a bit more chilled out, a bit more mellow, then um, yeah, excellent. You know, they've, they've done some great stuff, to be honest with you. So um, obviously it's got the classic cover where it looks like Art Garfunkel has got a moustache which is actually Paul Simon's hair always comical uh, next up we have Rewind the Film by the Manic Street Preachers this album I've not heard um, but once again picked it up very cheaply probably 50 pence I think and uh, I've got most of their other albums so I figured I would grab it uh, this is a Paul McCartney one, Driving Rain. I haven't got loads of his stuff. I've got most of the Beatles stuff. This one, I think it's supposed to be quite good. Once again, not had a chance to check this one out yet because I have got a lot, about 40 CDs to get through today, which is why I'm firing through them quite quickly. Um, but always got time for McCartney. That's a good, good pickup. I was happy with that. Uh, then we have the Jam, Snap. This is the double CD edition. Um, classic band from the uh, late 70s, early 80s, two disc edition as I say, and loads of good stuff on here like uh, Eating Rifles Going Underground, David Watts, Bombing Wardour Street, Down in Tube Station at Midnight, all the classics really, so um, yeah, good album, The Jam. 
Uh, another Paul McCartney one, Flaming Pie. This is, once again, I've not fully checked this one out. This is supposed to be one of his better, later solo albums. So I will look forward to checking this one out. Um, so, yeah. And, right, I got a load of black metal stuff, which I picked up. There's a guy who I got a load of stuff from. He put all his stuff down to a pound. Now he's doing eight CDs for a fiver. He had a load of black metal, and uh, I picked up a fair bit of it. This one is off of the shit, man. You can't even like, read their names, but this is Tunes of Despair from Beyond the Vein. I did scan them all into Discogs. Half of them haven't even got barcode, so it's a bit of a detective mission. This one might be one of the Mexican death metal, uh, not even death metal, black metal. Um, no idea who they are or what they're like, but I'm guessing, well, you know what black metal's like. I say I'm not the biggest fan of it, but... I will grab it because it usually holds its value quite well. This one, Suicidal Nihilism. Um, yeah, within the insane asylum. Once again, no barcode on it. Um, and so, yeah, if you know any of these, let me know. This one is Earth Tone, Arc Tangent. Same from the same guy, not sure. Um, I think this might be metalcore, this one. So there's a lot of stuff for me to check out. Earth Tone 9, sorry, is the name of the band. Originally cost 13 99 I think it was like 60p or whatever it works out to. Uh, Blitzkrieg, Judge Not. Heavy metal band from, I think, Newcastle. UK. This is one of their later ones. I'm not sure when. So lots of stuff for me to check out. This one. Yeah, I can't. Nostalgia, this one. Dead memory. More black metal. Could say anything. So if you know any of this stuff, let me know. Let me know which ones I should be checking out first. So I literally got all of these pretty much last weekend. So uh, another one, Caliban, the opposite from within. I think this is another metalcore one mixed by Andy Sneap. He's obviously fairly prolific at the moment. Has been for a fair few years. This is Art and Roadrunner and uh, yeah, 2004. Uh, this one is Public Enemy, and it's just a uh, hits package, basically. Public Enemy's greatest hits, Power to the People and the Beats. Have got everything on here anyway, but picked it up as part of the deal. So stuff from their first sort of five or six album, I think it goes up to He Got Game. Um, give it up, that's on uh, Music and Our Message. Uh, loads of stuff from their first three or four albums as well, so pretty cool. If you haven't, if you're not familiar with Public Enemy, it's a good place to start. Got a lot of good stuff on there. I uh, got the first Ugly Kid Joe EP, as ugly as they want to be. Their first two albums, I think, are really, really good. Um, they're not, you know, the most fashionable or cool band. I don't think they ever were, but certainly uh, Menace of Sobriety is an excellent album. Uh, this has got Madman on it as well, and obviously the their most famous track, Everything About You, but still pretty cool. Painful Depression, I think this one says. Yeah. More black metal from wherever. Uh, this one is the uh, self-titled Genesis album from the early 80s, 83. Uh, this one has got Mama on it, and that's all probably the most two famous tracks. Um, but yeah, a good album. Uh, slowly building up the Genesis catalog. Uh, 50 Cent The Massacre. This has got a two disc, so CD ROM video content. Uh, yeah, quite a fan of 50, to be honest with you. His earlier stuff is pretty decent. 
Um, so, yeah, I was happy to grab that. This has got candy shop on it. Haymaker by Throwdown. Or should I say the other way around? Throwdown, anyway. Yeah, no, it is right. <laughs> um, I think more metalcore style stuff. Say that I need to check out. This one's on Roadrunner. Came out in 2003. Uh, classic Jethro Tull, Aqualung. Not really heard a lot of Jethro Tull stuff. This album I do know pretty well though, and it is very good. So um, yeah, I've been looking to get this one for a little while, and I say found it obviously very cheaply. So grab that one. Uh, Kick by NXS, probably their most famous album with New Sensation and uh, things like Devil Inside, Need You Tonight, Mystify, Never Tear Us Apart, so loads of classic tracks on there. Um, decent album. Another nostalgia album. The early years apparently. All looks very cheerful. Uh, this one I sort of remembered that I used to have back in the day. This is a techno album, uh, Baby Ford, B Ford 9. And um, yeah, I used to have this on vinyl and kind of forgot that I ever had it. And then for some reason it sort of came back into my consciousness. Tried to look it up on Amazon Music. It wasn't on there, so I had to buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah, good. It really, if you like techno, this one's a, a classic. Took me back. Really, really good. Uh, another Ginger Wild Heart solo album. This one's Market Harbour. Uh, a lot of tracks on this. Uh, they all kind of pretty much flow into each other as well. And uh, very much worth having. To give this a fair old spin. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Good mixture of stuff on there. Uh, Market Harbour by Ginger. Uh, Michael Munro, Sensory Overdrive, uh, obviously ex-singer of the Hanoi Rocks. This one's actually got Ginger Wildheart doing the guitar, and he co-writes pretty much all the tracks. And it does sound very wildheart -y. Uh It's got Lemmy on it as well on the last track. Um, and this is probably my second favourite Michael Munro album. Really is a good album. Uh, the uh, Not Faking It album is a classic one. That's probably my favourite of his, but this one... Runs it a close second, some really, really good stuff on here. Great songwriting and uh, yeah, really good, excellent album. Uh, Honey's Dead by the Jesus and Mary Chain, another one that I used to have. I think I had this on cassette back in the traveling on the London Underground. Uh, listened to stuff on my Walkman days, so I had this on cassette then. And uh, yeah, loads of really good stuff on here. Reverence, Teenage Lust, Sugar Ray. Uh, Catch Fire, etc. Um, probably my favourite album of Jesus and Mary Chain. I think it's really good, excellent album. Uh, this one, I even know. Decipher that. I did look it up and I can't remember. I can't really see it properly. It's not even an English word. But yeah, more a black metal. Uh, Silver Chair, their second album, I think, Freak Show. Uh, pretty good, I think. Uh, so I did like their third album a lot as well. They're all pretty good, man. It's all very listenable. Uh, Great Whites, Twice Shy. Uh, good, excellent, um, sort of glammy, rocky stuff from the, uh, Late 80s, when did this come out? Oh, who knows? But regardless, 89. Um, yeah, Once Bitten, Twice Shy is on here, which is, you know, one of their more famous tracks, but probably the shittiest song on the album. <clears throat> but um, still happy to pick that one up. Uh, left Field, Rhythm and Stealth, fan of Left Field and their dubby, bassy, electronic kind of shtick. Um, so, a good album. 
classic from the 80s heaven 17 penthouse and pavement <clears throat> if you like an 80s style album then you'll like this one we don't need this fascist groove thangs on here so that was pretty cool uh listen like thieves from in excess the album before kick so just before they got really famous i think they were pretty big in the us around this time listen like thieves is really good kiss the dirt's a good track as well uh, and also what you need really good track from this album uh, this one, No Means No, Sex Mad slash You Kill Me. This is out on Alternative Tentacles. Uh, punky kind of stuff. This was the one that was uh, the best deal that I got. This was part of the um, eight for five pound. And this one values probably at around 15 to 20 pounds. So priced up as eight. So even that was a bargain. But anyway, um, but yeah, 1991, punky yeah um not checked it out yet once again but <clears throat> big fan of the dead kennedys who are obviously on the same label i think jello biafra has done stuff with them as well so uh pretty happy to get that uh devil driver des fafara from cold chamber this is a sort of harder kind of thing fury of our maker's hand and lastly uh the second or third pet shop boys actually always have a bit of a soft spot for their stuff to be honest with you um some classic tracks like rent it's a sin heart what have i done to deserve this on here not everyone's cup of tea um but i like it so yeah that was um that was my latest mega update um, we'll be on to the yeses, continuing that, and also um, I'll do my review of 2023. So that'll be the albums that came out this year. So I don't think it's been a fantastic year for uh, music, particularly, but there has been some good stuff. So um, we'll see what you think of that. And um, thanks all for watching. Uh, appreciate it's been a couple of weeks since my last video, but it's just hard finding the time to to put stuff together. To be honest with you, so. I will endeavour to, to try and do it a little bit more regularly. But um, also, yeah, thanks again and um, catch you all next time. Cheers.